Okay. Um, I heard this was a lot of work. How was it for your first time working on an app? I mean, do you have a technical background, or, or what was that like? Yeah, I, I personally don't have a technical background at all. I'm trained to do health research, and um, our group, I think, like a lot of other people, are really recognizing the promise of new forms of media in, um, in promoting health and um, designing interventions um, to help people be healthy. So um, it was a bit daunting at first, because um, again, this isn't the kind of training that we receive when mm-hmm. we um, learn how to do research. And so it was um, very reassuring to know that we had a team of experts around us supporting us at every step of the way, not feeling like we were going to go down the wrong path and end up with a product that wouldn't ultimately work for us. Um, So uh, it was, you know, there was a a multi-member team. You know, there were a lot of different roles that web services brought to the project and different roles that we didn't even know um, came into play when you need to develop an app. Um, So we really relied on them to just identify um, who um, was best at all those roles, who could fill those roles, and then help us create a strong app. What sort of roles um, did they bring bring in that that weren't really expected? Um, I guess when I thought about designing an app, um, uh, I guess maybe I pictured, you know, one person doing um, kind of many types of things, you know, many Mm -hmm. types of assignments nested within one person. But we worked with different people at different stages. And so we got to kind of see the design and development process, you know, so there were people who, you know, program the kind of skeleton or infrastructure of the app. Okay. There were designers that helped us with, um, you know, content as well as, um, you know, color and, you know, as we kind of saw the app come to life. Okay. Yeah. Um, What was the most enjoyable part of the project? Um, The most enjoyable part was probably seeing it become a reality. You know, you have these images in your head of how you picture the app. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's kind of your baby. You think about that image for a long time. And so it was a little nerve wracking as you see it, you know, being built along the way, you know, will it actually look like we pictured it? And and it definitely did. Um, So it was really exciting when we saw the pieces come together with the illustrations and the navigation when it felt like a real app. That was definitely an exciting moment. Great. Um, Well, what was the toughest part of the project? Uh, The toughest part of the project... I don't know. I think there are a lot of details that need to be tended to. There's a ton of work that goes into creating a finished project and a finished product. Mm -hmm. And um, we just, you know, required a lot of patience along the way. Um, But I think one thing that really helped was having also a good project management infrastructure. You know, there was the Basecamp website where it was very clear what our schedule and our timeline was. And also the roles, you know, who is responsible for what. Right. And so it was easy to just revisit that calendar and be able to visualize this project happening. Mm -hmm. Um, That was that was very helpful. Okay. Um, Was there any part of the process that maybe they could have improved upon, or? um... Um, I don't think so. So areas for improvement. Um, Towards the end, we worked very um, hands-on with one designer in particular. And um, he was very responsive to our feedback. Sometimes it took two or three rounds, but I think that was kind of a design person talking to a research person. Okay, yes. So we're kind of coming from different camps, but once we learned how to work with each other... Um, and you started to speak the same language yeah, in a way. Exactly, and we understood um, what the words were for, for different things. We're like, oh, when you say that, that's what you mean. So after we worked through some terminology, um, it, it was a good process. Okay. Um, what part of the process was just right? What part of the process was just right? Um, well, I don't know. Um, apart from what I've already described, um, I think overall the process, um, it was very, um, you know, centered on our needs and our vision mm-hmm. uh, throughout. And, you know, if something wasn't just right, the tweaks were always made. So they were very patient with us. Um, Even, you know, seeing something, okay, what does that look like in the app? Oh, that's not the right look. We need to go with this. Um, They were always very accommodating. And so really were with us every step of the way to make sure that this app was what we envisioned and that it also um, works well and it conforms to kind of best practices in app development and design. Okay. 
Here's the last and final question, <laughs> and then you're off the hook. Um, would you re recommend um, the mobile app development services to your colleagues? Yeah, I would absolutely wholeheartedly recommend um, working with web services for people who have um, similar types of projects, um, especially with research. Um, you know, there are so many other considerations when you design a research study, thinking about your measurements and your outcomes. Um, but if you're using an app as a study activity or even as the intervention itself, it has to be just right. And so you need to work with professionals, and we have amazing, amazing professionals right here on campus. And I actually, for a long time, felt like um, web services, like they were my secret, that I, like, I didn't want to share you with anybody. You didn't want to share, yeah. So, so, like... that, <laughs> so that um, they would have time to work with us on our project. Okay. Um, but I have, I've already talked to some colleagues and people in different um, departments and schools um, glowing about the help that we've gotten from web services and the quality of the work. Great. Thank you so yeah. much for your feedback. <laughs> Great job.